This is KTN Prime. On the front line of the fight against coronavirus are medics and clinical staff that many laud for the work they do. Little though is said about other frontline staff who ensure that the cogs in the wheels of clinical treatment move. Shema Aluda, a cleaning lady at the Nairobi Hospital, probably has one of the most important tasks, that of infection prevention and control through cleaning the isolation ward. Our Dr. Masikori had access to this unit during one of these cleaning exercises in our reports. My name is Aluda Shema. For three weeks now, 23-year-old Shema's routine revolves around the isolation area where in a day she may access it twice for a maximum of one and a half hours at most. The diploma in ICT student currently does housekeeping to raise fees to keep her in school. It took her two good days to learn the proper procedure of donning and removing the personal protective gear, a procedure she now demonstrates with ease. It needed a lot more, though, to get the confidence she now exudes. The first time I was afraid, even I did not perform my work very well. If I see a patient around me, I could, like, where can I get help? Everyone accessing the isolation unit has to be fully gowned, the camera crew included. Here is the police room. You come inside. She mixes one part bleach with six part water as part of her preparations for cleaning. Do not mix. Each surface has its own goals for cleaning to avoid recontamination. And off she goes to start this all important task. We have to make friends. You have to talk to them. That is our first priority. You have to talk to them very well before you start doing your work. You can't just boom inside and start your work. Even they will wonder who is he, who is she, who is he. Uh, if you can see again, I'm sure you must. She meticulously cleans every surface. With all the science on the coronavirus that we know, one key component is that of infection prevention and control by maintaining the highest standards of hygiene possible. The roles of Shema and other cleaning staff in the hospitals cannot be overemphasized at this point where preventing transmission of the coronavirus is top for everyone. We are okay. We have the full gear in the PPEs. We are ready to work. But above all, we keep on putting all these measures. Don't assume anything. This sickness is real and you should not be afraid. And if you try to move away, the patient's like, why is this moving away again? So in another case also, a patient can start coughing. So when he or she coughs off, again you will start scared. This one can just come inside me. Of course you have the PPEs, that, that mentality, you are like, this one just can go through. The fear she had initially has since paved way for confidence. Even the patient were new there. So they're like, why are you wearing this way? Why all this? So you just try to answer them. Her biggest challenge is when she goes back home. Do her neighbors think she's a risk to them given that she works in a highly restricted zone? On weekends when I stay at home, they think so. So they try to avoid me. Normally they just say, when you come in, you go to your house directly and never come out. I just take it like they maybe they don't understand. Yeah, maybe if I sit with them down and talk to them, they understand. Her mother encourages her through this period. My mother keeps on saying like she's ever praying for me every morning, every time. And whenever I feel anything, I just call her to pray. The patients in the isolation unit do appreciate the work that she does one having come back after discharge to say thank you to the team. If they keep on doing the measures that they have kept on, they'll get better. But if again they're not following, then they'll have to stay. After each access to the isolation unit, everyone has to remove their PPE according to the strict laid down procedures and shower before resuming other duties. Dr. Masikorir, KT News.